Hey guys, welcome to my vault tutorial. Not bunkers, not roof bunkers, vaults. The ones you have to respawn into to get access. So what is a vault exactly? Here's a short description. In this video, I'm going to show you some quick effective ways to build them and how to hide your vault. Vaults are one of the most secure ways to hide some of your precious belongings. The most common vaults use drop boxes, like this one. You can easily get drop boxes from outposts for 40 scrap and you're done. If they get destroyed, they can be easily replaced. The downside to this method is that it makes it very obvious where your vault is. The second option, which I first saw on Vice's channel, is by placing a large box through the wall. This is by far the cheapest method there is. Downsides are like drop boxes. It sticks out of the wall like a sword thumb, and even newer players will immediately know there's a vault. Not only that, but if the box gets broken, either by raiders or by accident, you can't replace it and you'll have to resort to drop boxes. The last method is a method I haven't seen but is probably used already. It consists of a trick from Budzatani by placing a barbecue a certain way against the wall which makes you able to loot it through backwards metal and HQ walls. Then, if you place a workbench level 3 in front of it, the barbecue becomes unlootable unless you rotate the workbench, which can only be done if you have access to the TC. This greatly reduces the chances of your vault being found. The downside to this method, just like Vice's concept, is that the barbecue can be broken easily. Since it technically sticks through the wall, splash damage from outside the vault will break it. You'll then have to resort to drop boxes. I did however find out that the barbecue doesn't break when the wall is upgraded to HQ, so upgrading from metal is a good idea to keep your barbecue from breaking. If your barbecue has been broken and you need to place drop boxes, simply rotate your workbench, which leaves enough space for them to be placed from the inside of the vault. This only works with a tier 3 workbench. There's a ton of things you can do with vaults, but one thing you can't do is farm cryptocurrency like Salad does. Salad.io is a very small and easy to use program that farms cryptocurrency while you're AFK and lets you spend it immediately on really awesome things that gamers need, like Discord Nitro, Rust skins, games, and gift cards. Running the program is also called Salad Chopping, and you won't need to chop that long to get worthwhile rewards. Check it out for yourself. If you'd like to download Salad, head to Salad.io. Something really important to take note of is that the methods I've shown are purely examples. Vaults don't have to be one by ones, they can be any size or shape. 
You can build it in honeycomb, inside a bunker, in between floor levels, you name it. Just remember that the harder it is to find, the safer your loot is. Let me show you a quick example. Here, we have a pretty basic starter base. If we check out the vault, we can see that the barbecue is used to pass loot through. and the boxes are above in the top honeycomb. To make this safer, we could build a second floor on top of it to try and hide it some more. I think you get the point. I wanted to take a few short minutes to show how effective vaults can be. If you pair vaults with some other building tricks, you'll be on your way to a base no one wants to raid. If you'd like to share some design ideas, head to my Discord. I'd like to see how you incorporated your vault into your base. I'm also thinking of featuring cool community bases, so feel free to show off your base too. Lastly, go check out Vice and Bud Satani. They're awesome content creators that allow the Rust community to grow. Let me know what you'd like to see next. I'm eager to make other little segment videos. See you in the next one.